Yo, welcome everyone. Bitcoin is trying to push higher and we are trading very close to the significant resistance level. That's why we should potentially expect a rejection towards the downside. Now, yesterday you're already going to see we got some kind of a push towards downside from approximately 66,800 US dollars. Now, this entire push towards downside happened because we got a lot of absorption happening at this specific area. A brand new higher high on our CVD indicator, while Bitcoin was still forming a lower high right here, which means buyers were still stepping in the market exactly right here, but they were not able to push the price higher to actually form a higher high. Then suddenly, we took the previous high for a very simple swing failure pattern or a liquidity grab, and Bitcoin got a push towards upside of approximately 3.3%. But the reality is, I do think we are going to go slightly higher towards the upside, and I do think that potentially we should expect a rejection at approximately 67,000 US dollars. Now, first of all, at the moment, Bitcoin is already trading at the area of resistance because when we go on the daily time frame and measure the entire push towards downside with our anchored VWAP, you're going to see that, yes, as of right now, Bitcoin is already hitting this specific area of resistance. On top of that, we can go with our bigger horizontal range. And yes, you're actually going to notice the mid-level of our horizontal range right here was hit literally to the exact dollar accuracy. But there is right now a very slight problem why I do think a rejection towards some side, it is actually quite likely. When we pay attention to the volume on the daily time frame, you're going to notice that as of right now, while Bitcoin is pushing towards the upside, we are still seeing that volume is going lower and lower and lower. And this right here, it's not only happening on the Bybit chart, but also when we pay attention to the volume on the Coinbase chart, yes, we got some kind of the volume spike right here, but generally speaking, we are still going lower and lower and lower. And that is why if Bitcoin starts pushing higher in the upcoming hours, in the upcoming days, and in my opinion, we do have quite a high probability of us at least taking out our previous high right here, I would be slightly more careful right here and maybe even look to fire a brand new short or a sell position right here. Now, another thing that we can notice before, of course, we do talk about this specific area of resistance right here, we can identify a brand new ascending channel. All we have to do, connect our higher lows with a diagonal area of support, expand this one towards our previous high, and you can notice that because we formed some kind of a higher low right here, we can right now be trading in a brand new ascending channel. The mid-level, historically speaking, has been very, very nicely respected. Even yesterday, of course, it was not perfectly hit, but nevertheless, some kind of the area of support. And what we can see right here, if Bitcoin starts going higher towards the upside, we also have the area of resistance of the top of our bigger ascending channel right here. But this area of resistance, in my opinion, it's not as important as the area of resistance we are going to talk about right now because we can identify even bigger and more important level. And that is going to be two golden Fibonacci ratios. First one is going to be from this specific high towards this specific high, which as of right now, it's already being hit. But the most important one, in my opinion, it's still going to be slightly higher. Why so? Because when we go from our swing high back towards our swing low, it hasn't been hit. And this golden Fibonacci ratio, it is going to be slightly above our previous highs, which means we still do have some liquidity lying at approximately 67,500 US dollars on the Bitcoin price itself. Now, before we talk about this specific golden Fibonacci ratio, if you want to trade with us, some exchanges are as of right now offering some in same bonuses with the links down below with Blockfin as of right now also offering a 15% deposit bonus right here for the first 100 users. So definitely make sure you're taking advantages of the bonuses with the links down below after initial deposit. Now, why is the gold pocket right here such an important level? Now, we do know, of course, it is going to be aligning perfectly with the liquidity level with our previous high right here. But on top of that, when we zoom out on the daily time frame and measure the previous range, 
That being said, we are measuring the entire price action before we broke it towards the outside, something like that, where you can notice we do have point of control or the biggest volume cluster at approximately 67,000 US dollars, which as of right now does align very, very nicely as well with our liquidity level, with our previous high, and also with our gold and Fibonacci ratio. That is why I would like to see Bitcoin pushing slightly higher. Yes, maybe because today is Friday and tomorrow is Saturday, so we are going to start the weekend. We can chop around at this specific area for slightly longer, then see a push toward the upside, take the liquidity above the high, hit the golden Fibonacci ratio, hit the point of control right here, and potentially then, of course, do see a rejection back towards the downside. Now, another thing that you need to pay attention if Bitcoin is actually going to hit the golden Fibonacci ratio right here is going to be the RSI indicator. And the RSI indicator as of right now, or actually yesterday, already reached the overbought area looking on the four hour time frame. So why is the RSI indicator in this case a very important indication that you need to pay attention to? Because once we are potentially going to start moving higher towards the golden Fibonacci ratio right here, and if the RSI is going to be forming a lower high right here, while Bitcoin forming a higher high, it is going to mean we have a bearish divergence on the four hour time frame, which it's actually quite a high term time frame at a very important area of resistance. So this right here it's definitely going to be a bearish indication for bitcoin price itself especially if we start moving towards the upside again with lower volume that being said with the volume that we are literally seeing for the past couple of days right here so just something you need to pay attention to rsi indicator and the golden fibonacci ratio which is slightly higher than the area where we are trading at the moment now of course if we are going to be able to break our golden pocket towards the upside because remember always we should have a bearish plan and also we should have a bullish plan what if the golden pocket here and our previous highs are going to be broken towards the upside like butter in that case we are simply paying attention to a higher area of resistance which is going to be the monthly high term time frame level right here at 71,400 us dollars and also again what we can do here measure the entire upper price action before it broke towards downside with the volume value area high exactly at our monthly level so again the moment we start breaking our point of control i would expect bitcoin to go higher towards the value area high towards the monthly slightly higher at 71,400 us dollars now at the moment i am still staying bullish on bitcoin because on the four hourly on the two hour time frame right now we do have bullish market structure for example you're going to notice we do have the previous low right here we do have the high we have the previous low we have the previous high which means on the four hourly time frame as of right now we do have bullish market structure which of course it is going to be a bullish indication for bitcoin on top of that when we go with our exponential moving averages on the one hour time frame we are as of right now seeing of course all of them seeing a bullish bullish cross which means we are trading in a significant uptrend on the one hour time frame looking on the two hour time frame the exponential moving averages are most probably going to cross in the upcoming hours of course if bitcoin is going to be able to still continue trading at this specific area or maybe push slightly higher and on the four hour time frame if you look like that we are most probably also going to see a cross right here which means we are going to trade again in a significant uptrend on the four hour time frame so again yes you need to be aware of the area of resistance at approximately 67 1400 us dollars above the previous high but just note overall speaking on the one hourly two hourly and four hourly time frame we can be potentially entering a significant uptrend that does mean that we shouldn't really be interested going with a short or a sell position if there is going to be a sun weakness because as mentioned if there is going to be a bearish divergence on the four hourly confirmed right here if there is going to be a sun weakness a bigger rejection towards downside formed on the bitcoin price itself yes personally i would expect bitcoin to simply move slightly towards downside of course make sure we are taking the profits along the way but nevertheless we are going to have a high probability short position offered to us so i would be looking for a potential short but also when we do see a rejection towards downside at the support level because of course we are then going to be trading in an uptrend we can also then flip into a long or a buy position but more about that in the upcoming videos now if you want to trade with us secure some insane free bonuses using the links below after initial deposit and thank you for smashing up the like button